<laughs> now this brother goes strong in the building too. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to give a hand. To who? To me. Give it up to who? To Mean Wood. <laughs> give up to To Mean Wood, everybody. <laughs> now, he is this young brother and I. And you, they talk about well, older people and younger people don't talk to each other. This brother has a lot of knowledge. He's learning every day. Do we? You know, you 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 questioned the the professor in school one day, right? Oh yeah. Tell us about that. Oh, and of all places, Staten Island. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, all the time, you know. Um, I I uh, usually challenge the professors because sometimes they they may say things that are uh, 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 incorrect, or if not incorrect, are uh, uh, controversial. And, and hey, usually. Well, 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 I had one professor. Uh, he was uh, a gentleman of uh, Nigerian heritage. Oh. And uh, he had this skewed view of, of blacks here in America. <laughs> what was his view? Well, he basically said that uh, black Americans were lazy and that corporations would prefer to hire mm. an African immigrant. Uh, 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 rather than hire an African American. Now remember, this is not the other persuasion saying this. Now, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So he was basically parroting the the stereotypes about Black Americans, and uh, I challenged them, and you know, I said, well, you have to take in mind that not every single Black American uh, uh, is lazy. Not every single Black American. Well, I wonder where he uh, got that from. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it, it was amazing. And, and I challenged them and I said, you know, I said, uh, and also you have to take into consideration the legacy of slavery. Um, uh, many of the negative things that you see across the country and in the city uh, uh, communities where many black Americans reside is a, uh, is a result of slavery, you know, uh, we're still suffering immensely from a lot of the uh, terrible things, you know, unimaginable horrors that we endured through, through the centuries. So uh, I, I challenged them and, and uh, I think he kind of backed off of that. Uh, How was your grade? <laughs> <laughs> you up here challenging him? What, what was your grade, brother? Well, I tell you, you, you know, you, you know, we have freedom of speech in this country, but if you I exercise hope he it, that. Yeah. but if you exercise it, you know, a lot of times you'll pay the price. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, what price did you pay? I, I used to get well, written I, up at I, my job. I have, I have freedom of speech. I got written up at my job, so I had to retire. But go ahead. <laughs> Well, you know, actually, he uh, he gave me uh, a B plus, which wasn't too bad. You know, <laughs> maybe I could have earned an, 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 an A, but uh, I, I expected I expected him to knock my grade down a, a notch. <laughs> 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 no, but I, no, I, I admire what you know, your stand though too, because uh, you know you ain't kissing up to him or anybody else. You used to slip with what you believe in. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know that, that's that's you know that's a bad conception, but you know they had to get it from someplace. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, I, not, and, and I'm not, I'm not gonna sit back and be anti this and anti that. They had to give them someplace. When they came over, they said, "Oh, don't go over there. Don't deal with them." You know, <laughs> they're lazy and this and that and the other. You know, but they, they didn't tell you could make a whole lot of money off of them. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <Yeah>. You <laughs> could cover the gold mine. <laughs> well, well, you know, I, I, I think. Well, we, we, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I, I, I think the media plays a, a major role oh, in do how they. blacks are portrayed around the world. Yes. I think that uh, blacks are overrepresented on reports on crime, and I think that uh, the gangster culture, the gun culture that's promoted around the world is having a negative effect, and many people are looking at black Americans or blacks and uh, criminals, and, 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 and actually what you're seeing uh, uh, is victims. Uh, black Americans are basically victims who are committing crimes in an attempt to survive. And, and because they were deculturalized and demoralized uh, uh, during slavery and subsequent Jim Crow, uh, uh, some of them may uh, engage in poor, poor decisions, poor deci they may make poor decisions and engage in bad behavior, but what we have to do is we have to look at the larger picture, you know. Uh, uh, if they don't benefit, the prison industrial complex benefits, and, and also uh, they're victims, and it's known that People who are victims usually uh, 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 seek to to uh, 
hurt others or make others victims. So, so uh, we have to look at the origin of, of why they're committing these petty random acts of violence and not just uh, 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 label them as, as criminals or deviant or something like that. Give them a big hand. Now, give them a big hand. Now, let me tell you something. You're not going to hear it on that street corner. That kind of talk. You know how to talk here on that street talk, on that street corner. <laughs> Garbage talk. <laughs> Everybody. And we talk about the trash that's on the corner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But also to one last question. Uh, we, we're going to bring you back another day, too. Okay. Why? You, we, I remember one time we were in Herald Square and we were talking about this. About black people, you know. Well, I mean, black people who who stay here and, and, and suffer, not just come from other places, and you know, and enjoy the fruits. Yeah. I mean, um, what's your issue on reparations? Oh well, I I think that uh, reparations is definitely something that blacks should receive um, because uh, the country was basically built built uh, uh, off of unpaid labor, and and not only not only the unpaid labor, but uh, Black Americans lost so much, and and blacks throughout the uh, the New World, they lost so much to the point where you know uh, you can't even pay them back. You you can't pay back for the, the the pain and suffering that their ancestors endured. You can't pay back the fact that they would never know what particular region or or village that their ancestors came from. But I think you know since we live in a capitalist society and uh, Money is valued over you know, you know, everything. You know, I, I, I will cut in on <laughs> this. is what I'm afraid of, yeah. and it's happened so many times with us. If somebody said, Well, hey, let's give it to them, and we'll give them some cash money. All of a sudden, these stores are going to start running sales. <laughs> cash in your reparation check. <laughs> <laughs> or you want a car, 10% off. You know, I. I I, I already see where it's going, where it's going to go. Oh yeah. Oh, you know, they, you know, this is a capitalist society, and then people <coughs> tend to forget. Like, like the first time everybody was was good, another good example was going home. Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King birthday. Okay, I have nothing against it. But look at what happened later on as the years gone by. All of a sudden, that's a, a King weekend. You could dream on the ski ski scope, so do right. what you 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 you, you want to do. Look like, and the average person, you know, don't know who he is. That's true. That's true. Um, but, but, you know, I, just with the reparations thing, I, even though uh, the government cannot pay back the damage that was done, oh, I think man, that, that, I think emotionally, that, yeah, mentally and emotionally. Yeah. yeah I think about, with the, you know, I think about um, Eric and I, we went to see the OJs. <laughs> and um, well, I'm going to give a plug, the OJs at, um, at, at the Lehman Center. That's a college, that's a field of aid, that's a nonprofit folks now, okay? <laughs> but anyway, and they had that song. Ship ahoy, ship ahoy. And they had a sketch on that, whereas how the slaves were coming over here and, and how some got thrown overboard. Oh, yeah. And, and um, I always believe that masterpiece of, 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 of Gamble and Huff. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, they may make love songs and that, but that stuff that hits the nerve oh, yeah. of what, what we went through. You know, or let, you know let's, let's give Kenny Gamble and Leon Huff in the South of Philadelphia big hand because they always bring folks to home. <laughs> On that note, my brother, we would like to thank you so much for coming down. We we want we, you're always welcome. Now here's a brother. See now you 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 almost said find him on the eleven o'clock news. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is who? Jameen Wood, and thank you for having me. And it was an honor and a pleasure. And I can't wait to come back. And I thank my producer Eric Matthews for bringing him down here. <laughs> Keep back! <laughs>